Welcome back, fellow chocoholics. As the saying goes, everything old becomes new again. And when you taste the icing and hot liquor sauce we're preparing this segment to go along with our old-fashioned chocolate layer cake, you'll be wishing everything we did was old-fashioned. Although I think you'll agree, there's nothing new about the enticing powers of chocolate. So we have our cake baking in the oven, and now it's on to the icing and the hot liquor sauce. We'll remove the cake, in fact. I believe they've finished baking. And let's take a look here. Looking good. I'll set them out here for you to take a look at. And I've, I have a toothpick, which I will use to check. And if the toothpick comes out dry, then we know that we have, we have takeoff here with these cakes, and they're ready to go. We'll allow them to sit on the counter to cool. Uh, if you want to place them on a rack to get some air circulation underneath, uh, that's also a good idea. Let me close the oven door here. And we'll start with our icing. This is really a, a wonderful and light chocolate icing. And you may wonder how it could be so light with, uh, with so much butter. Well, it's all in the technique. And we start out with a half a pound of butter. And I'm going to actually start out putting uh, the components to the recipe, or most of the components, in the bowl away from the mixer. And the reason I'm doing that is because I have quite a bit of cocoa to add here. And if I try to shake it into the bowl, uh, as I have it on the mixer, we'll have cocoa spewing about. So the uh, best way to do it is get down inside the bowl and drop this cocoa, this three-quarters of a cup of cocoa, gently so it keeps inside the mixing bowl. And then we have our quarter teaspoon salt, which helps bring out all the flavors. Now we'll put it on the mixer, and I'm using a paddle. Set that to the side. And then we'll start out on low speed. And let me caution you on that, uh, once again, with having so cautiously placed the cocoa in the bowl, if we started out on high speed here, I, I'd look like the, uh, the original cocoa man. So a little slow to begin with. And it's also a good point to bring out, whoa, is that the butter should be softened. Uh, if it's very hard when we try to do this step, uh, once the cocoa will not be incorporated into the mixture. So we just started out a little bit, and then I'll use a rubber spatula to scrape the bowl down. And then we'll add our teaspoon of vanilla. And I love what the vanilla does in this recipe, giving it a very soft undertone. And it really is very subtle. And vanilla, I think, for me, is one of those ingredients that I can use an eye measurement on as long as we're uh, not too far off the mark. And then we have a third of a cup of heavy cream. Let me check my recipe here. And actually, that was half and half cream. I, I thought I wanted to go back and, and be certain. And there's nothing sh ashamed that you should be ashamed about checking in your recipes when you're baking about the total ingredients. Uh, better to err on the side of caution and check back than to make a mistake and, and add too much or too little of an important component. Okay, what I've done here is I've got a lot of confectioner's sugar here. I've got four cups, and it will be a little easier to add it to the bowl by placing it in a piece of parchment paper. And that goes in all of it, all at once. And then once again, and I got a little over-anxious with the cocoa. I'm telling you, started out slow, and it didn't take too long. I was trying to cruise along. Start out very slowly, and then let it start going. And before we boost it up to medium speed, I'll use my spatula and scrape down the bowl. Let me get a flat spatula here. Okay, we'll scrape down the bowl here. And then I'll move on to making the hot liquor sauce while this is mixing. This will take about three to five minutes. And we, what we're trying to do is, of course, incorporate some air into it. And we'll set that. I'll set that on low. I probably would do it on high, but I thought you might not be able to hear me on, on the following step here, the hot liquor sauce. We have our cream and butter. I have, I better check again on my cream. I have one and a half cups of cream and nine tablespoons of butter. And I brought that up to a boil. And then I'm adding one cup, a tightly packed cup of brown sugar, and then one cup of granulated sugar. And I want to use a whisk here. Normally I have a ladle in here because if the cream starts boiling, we need to have something to reduce the bubbles so that the cream doesn't boil over the sides of the pot. 
Uh, I want to use a whisk here because I want to very quickly whisk the sugars into the hot cream and butter to dissolve the sugar. And if we're not doing that, then we're going to have a very grainy sauce. Okay. That, that's looking very good, and I'm not sure if you can tell. You know what I'd like to do here is show you with a spoon. And if you see how nice and smooth that's become, and there are really no granules at all from the sugar. Beautifully smooth. Okay, let me put my spoon aside. Normally, I would allow this to cool for about five minutes. When I say normally, I'm, I'm trying to get this done here. We've got this party going on, and they're all going to be waiting for this old-fashioned cake. So I'm trying to, to get moving. I might take a chance and do this step, but if I have plenty of time, I would, I would wait about five minutes to add our cocoa. I have one and a half cups of sifted cocoa, and better, again, we're talking about being careful here, is to wait the five minutes for the cream and the sugars to cool down a little bit, because if it's too hot, our cocoa might scorch when we add it to this mixture. So we'll place these tools on the side, and we'll go ahead and add this. I think it's going to be all right, but once again, if you have the luxury of time, I would wait a few minutes, let it cool down, and we'll use a whisk here to get it incorporated. After that, I'm going to keep it in a, in a double boiler. I have my saucepan on the bottom and a glass bowl on top, and we'll keep it's not called hot liquor sauce for nothing, and we do want to keep it warm. So as soon as I incorporate my cocoa, I'll be pouring it in here. And then we're going to come back and assemble this cake, our old-fashioned layer cake. So we'll see you in just a bit. Don't go away. Marcel puts the icing on the cake when we return.